Oh, this book is very, very interesting. What is it actually? Efficiency! Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. I'm just lying in my king's bed, in my king's bedroom. And chilling out. This is my room now. Uh, don't mind the stripper pole. <laughs> People. Yes, this is this is me now. Uh, I've made my room. I, I told you I'm gonna make my room because like Alder has this one, which now reminds me that she extended. I've never. Yeah. Okay. Spoilers. <laughs> there is there has been stuff going on, and that is because uh, this server this server progresses. Pro prog ah. People on the server progress so hard, it's just insane. Ooh, never occurred to me to do this to, to a bed. Uh, never mind. I'm here today to show you around the base, what has happened for the past. Let me just wear my armor. This armor makes me immortal. Like, remember when this server used to be hard? When I came on the first time, the hard mobs and the difficulty. Like can't kill a zombie, a skeleton will always set you on fire and kill you. That has been basically wow, I can see the them through walls now, okay. Ah oh, yes that by the way. By the second way. Okay, let me start from this. I've been trying to teach myself to to do the flying thing. Not too great at this. Oh, Actually, yeah, look at this. We have tyrants spelled over our castle in solid gold blocks. And obsidian. And now and we have a roof made of lapis, a roof made of gold. We are, yeah, and our welcome message is now welcome to the realm of flying gods of money. Which is perfectly accurate. And uh, we also have this ravine that skip all that down to like for defensive purposes and uh, yeah this this castle now looks very much different it like this ravine makes it look epic but then again I feel like the the roofs the colorful roofs have kinda took away a lot of the epicness here uh, th there's more people on the server playing now. We have a second kingdom that Chris and Global have made, and it's way over there. I'm not gonna bother to fly over there. They have some nice houses, but uh, yeah, we have uh, an entrance with slime blocks here now, which is completely pointless. I don't understand why do we have it. And this staircase here, which is, I suppose, this is the actual way to go when you want to visit us. I guess. I guess not sure honestly but I have an interesting thing to do here uh, remember last time I was a fisher and I changed my class to logger or did I saw it on camera I've, I've been a logger logger just cuts down trees so it's nothing interesting but it built up my strength and toughness that's why I have 16 hearts now and I can actually deal, deal damage with my sword which is great and um, I need to ch ch make a new profession for myself. Like these are still locked because I need one more. And now I don't know what to do. This one, it's like I don't need to level up luck. So this one would be interesting, but I don't need luck. This one could be interesting. Stamina and toughness. Toughness is useful because it will give me extra hearts. Stamina, I don't need any. I haven't eaten in a while. That, th I've been carrying around a stack of mutton and I've ate, ate three just because I've stripped naked uh, for some time for battle with Global with this knockback 5 stick that you can buy in the shop. It's pretty cheap. It like, takes wood and leather and it's great fun. Uh, can I actually like present? I sure can. Pie chicken. <laughs> so if you're traveling like on the mountains, you can punch stuff off the mountains and it's, it's pretty cool. Um... Welcome to the realm of flying gods of money. Uh, you change this by just doing slash F description. And now. Uh, yeah. 
we're rich. So now if I go into unconquered land and go back, we'll say tyrants. Yeah, we're rich. <laughs> so yeah, this is a cool. This is a cool feature. Uh, some changes on the server have happened. Like now the mobs are stacking. Let me go to the blaze farm to illustrate what this means. Uh, it is supposed to make the server less laggy. I don't know if it does that just yet. I've not experienced much change. Okay, these mobs are not stacked. But hopefully... Yeah, see? Three times blaze. Because they stack together. And now they're five times blaze. They're just in one thing, which makes it really difficult for me to use the uh, uh, what you call it, the cleave, I suppose. I forgot what's the, what the, what is the name of the attack that you do with shifting. That's right click. <laughs> that's not what I wanted. Uh, sweep attack. That's what it is. So this change has um, made the farms significantly less efficient because you cannot sweep attack the mobs anymore which is a shame uh, but last time I had a comment and kill me I forgot the name of the guy uh, I think it was Rift Droppy what was that you Rift Droppy who said that you ap appreciated the ranting oh I have another rant for you which is extremely extremely amusing like, I'm, I'm working at this computer store, which I've told you the last time. Why is this tree on fire? Okay, I can't punch it out while, while flying. Uh, so, I work at this computer store. Actually, let me make me uh, maybe do this first. Which one do I do? This one, this one. Strength and stamina, but I want to be a builder. Stamina and luck. This, like, I like this because it cooks, it's about cooking food and I have a lot of food to cook but it upgrades stamina and luck which is not useful although I guess it will unlock me all these classes yeah let's go for cook I am now a cook a king cook um, so while I'm talking let me smell some food for me I, I hope you do have some food still right because I'm actually not. I've actually not been looking into the chest for some time. Uh, there's some coal. I'm gonna take that. Raw food items. Oh yeah. Oh, baby. The amount of <laughs> chicken in here. Um, apparently we're doing this here. Hey. Now uh, this is not gonna fly. Uh, okay, let me cook this up while I'm talking. So, we work, like, there's a couple of shops in a couple of towns. And we basically uh, communicate via Skype. We have a Skype group set up uh, to communicate between the shops so that we can, like, ask each other for equipment that we have or for some technical issues if we have them. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna just make me first or two and grab another chicken. Uh, and also sometimes we just like laugh at stuff in the in the in the Skype group, right? You know, laughing, laughing's good, right? I'm gonna put these in my room, I guess, because there's no room here to put them uh, down. So yeah, we, there is a oh my god, this sword, take it away there is a conversation about an email and uh, the email that has been a response to the email that we sent with, uh, with with our offer so the guy it was an auto responding email and he says uh, I don't exactly remember the words like the grammar but it was something along the lines I will be checking this email from time to time and blah 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 Right, so this is a perfectly fine sentence, and mind you, I've not invo I'm not involved in the conversation. I come back to the Skype and I see this conversation conversation have happened, and I see one of the guys laughing. Wow, well, my this guy must have used Google Translate. Um, 
obviously like all this doesn't happen in, in English I'm just translating it on the fly here because I'm like they don't speak English which proof for which the proof will be briefly dis undisclosed oh this is fancy okay let me sit here then so the guy uh, says that this is this is a re this is ridiculous this guy doesn't know English at all like how can you say I will be when will is a future form of be Ha! Huh. What do you say about that, English people? You cannot say I will be because it's like I be be. I will be being. I don't know. But now, this is not the end. Then he proceeds to say that he doesn't even know the idioms because from time to time doesn't exist. Because you have to know that in Polish there is a, a idiom which is exactly like that. It basically translates literally from time to time. So this guy thought that it was just like he took the Polish thing and he translated literally because the English one doesn't exist because he he never he's never heard of it and he claimed to have traveled a lot which and he never heard in any country nobody ever using from time to time and he said that it should be used sometimes um, and obviously I will be was also uh, not proper so he proposed uh, or, or suggested that this email should properly state it I will checking my email sometimes which obviously would be much better English according to the guy and the best part is everybody joined in like all the other shops join in in the laughter about this guy's inco incompetence and in, like re the, the email uh, writing efficiency I don't know and then I join in I look at the Skype I read the, the conversation up and down and I'm like huh these guys are idiots let me join in and I type in uh, this sentence is 100% correct greetings from an English teacher which I am I, I mean I used to be before I realized that working with children is horrible <laughs> it's not really horrible but it's oh no, not not in school, I guess. Well, look, this actually does a lot. <laughs> I'm ten percent, eleven percent work done already. Um, so they start laughing at me because apparently even the teachers don't know how to speak English. Lol. Omg. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to involve myself in the conversation anymore because these people are clearly just stupid. And then an hour later, the boss go, go, comes into the Skype group. And he, like, it's, he's talking about something completely irrelevant. And then he apparently reads the chat and he's like, by the way, that sentence from the email, 100% correct. And then everybody's like, no. And then everybody just like, and and he continues saying that I I hope most of you guys will like learn better in the future. And I'm like, yeah. See, I wasn't involved, boss. Should give me more money. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was actually like, that was silly. That was really really silly. But yeah, this is this is how people in Poland work. If you if you don't know all the stereotypes of about. See, I wanted to say us, but I just don't really fit in with the description, so I don't. I, it's it's hard to to explain. But the the point is, oh, I'm not gonna have enough coal to smelt all the chicken because I've put just a whole coal, eight coal. Uh, they don't know shit. But they really, really like to claim they know shit, and even when respond, like in when con well f faced with an actual argument, because I've linked to a grammar website as well uh, with exact uh, sentence saying I will be doing something, which is exactly what they said was completely wrong and shouldn't occur in English at all. Funny thing, I've never heard him like make a single sentence in English apart from like memeing something in the chat for no reason, which is you know 
Okay, I guess. Pretend you know stuff. This is fine. And they will refuse to acknowledge that they're wrong. Which... It's just stupid. I don't... I don't... I can never understand how people can refuse to acknowledge that they're wrong. Because if you do, you basically evolved just now. Because you've learned something, you've accepted you've learned something, it's a good thing. Making mistakes is a good thing, because you then, when you make a mistake once, and you realize that it's a mistake, you're not gonna make uh, it ever again. But you make when you make a mistake over and over, and you refuse to accept that it has been a mistake, well then you might as well just make this mistake until the end of your life, and just be wrong, and be stupid, I guess. And this is why I want to I, I want to migrate from this country. Everybody here is like that. Help me! Help me, please! Where is all my cows? But I just realized my cows are gone. I mean, my chickens are gone as well, but that's fine. I'm worried about the cows, though. It's like we have no backup to breed them. <sighs> Who killed my cows? I was the one carrying them up here with a lead. For this, for this mountainous terrain from way over, like, there from the forest, which wasn't very easy. Damn it. I see you, zombie. Now, look. Remember when it was hard? Hi. Let me just sit here. I mean, sure, right? This is great. I'm still full health, and this is the wrong bow. And <laughs> you have four hearts. I can basically like, do this, and that's that's the hard mobs that would kill everybody the, the moment the server started. They're reduced to being not relevant at all, and. Yeah, I'm I'm having issues with that because I basically joined this and stayed here because it was a really hard survival. And now I know that I can just take off all this armor, which by the way I didn't even I wasn't even full armor fight for this. Um uh, I could take off this armor and try to you know just stay in a hard difficulty because of that. But then again everybody else is gonna have diamond armor and we get assaulted, we're gonna get massacred. So, basically everybody now is ridiculously overpowered. I don't think there's been a single challenge or war issued between uh, the kingdoms. So our kingdom is... Actually, hold on. Let's look at the kingdoms. Yeah, Tyrants have $440. Valinor has $600. Baked potatoes are actually going up there. And uh, Imperium? Oh, Estas is the second kingdom. They're pretty... Oh my god, they don't own any chunks. That's that's a shame, actually. So, only three kingdom kingdoms own chunks at this point. That's kind of silly. How about Zan Chief? Is this Sor? Oh no, four kingdoms own, own chunks. Okay. I don't remember. I don't remember who is who. That's a problem. Oh! I don't have my elytra on. Uh, okay, let's see if I can level up a little bit more from the food. Okay, that wasn't very... And now the server is behaving correctly, because when people are on, like many people, I can't seem to be... I can't, can't seem to shoot myself with the... Uh, with the bow for the elytra, uh, because the server is too laggy. Because the server is not very strong. Alderdash have become a donator yesterday, and apparently the single donation that she made uh, made the server, like, paid the server's rent for the entire month. So this is not a very expensive server, but that's it's holding up pretty okay for what it is. And uh, yeah, last episode I did the caving with Alderdash, and that basically was the time when I realized, hey. Oh crap, this is easy. And we're swimming in gold. When the game is too easy... Oh, 
Hi. When the game is too easy, it always demotivates me to play. And I have a problem. Uh, because right now, like, I wanted to build some, like, that's why I started with the room. I wanted to decorate stuff and it, like, for it to be nice. But then if you have three people working on a single place and they don't have exactly the same vision about it, like, Skippo made the roofs and uh, Alder is trying to be, like, make it a raw, realistic looking castle. And it's already kind of conflicting. And then there is me. And I'm like, hey. I come in, every time I come into the server, I discover there's been so much stuff done because this is my typical problem. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know chickens? How are they are birds, but they can't fly? I'm gonna prove you wrong. You're our now, chicken! <laughs> You're in our courtyard. You will stay here forever. <laughs> this was great. Okay, this stick is actually something I enjoy. Um, there is also, there was also a possibility to get flying shoes, but it's been removed by the mod because Skippo has made it possible to abuse this fact to the max and basically gave himself infinite flight. So they've been removed from the game now. Thanks, Skippo. Although I've, I wasn't a fan in the first place anyway, so that's okay. Because that flying and, and vanilla. Like on modded, you could still get away with flying. Although I'm, it kind of breaks the fun as well. But can I? I wanted to fly through the window here, but it's impossible. Okay, actually, I still probably have some time. Oh, <laughs> hit my face on the tree. Well, I'm not gonna go to the mod's castle then. Oh, hello, person. Hello, oh, person. Oh, also, this email also said hello like that. Um, which I assume is... Uh, I don't know anything about the person who sent that email, but this is a typical way of saying hello that I've seen metal fans use. And it's like, I'm used to seeing this. I am a huge metal fan. <laughs> I mean, I, I used to be. Not so much anymore, I guess. But it's... I, I, I still like... I know the lingo, <laughs> if, you, if you will. Uh, and this is a typical way to say hello. But the guy... Oh, hello. Uh, the guy... Who was like telling people off... Yeah, hello. Telling people off for not... Well, telling this guy off. Well, not really telling, just laughing behind his back about his English, was also um, not accepting hello as a proper hello. Like, he even misspelled hello. What kind of a moron do you have to be to misspell hello? What kind of a moron do you have to be to think that, that I will be as an improper grammatical structure guy? I don't want to say that he's an idiot. He's probably an idiot. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Forty-three levels already. Uh, I didn't level up any anything like or stamina or luck. Which luck I have full, I guess. But stamina I could still work. I don't understand how this works. Like, okay, what do I have? Strength is like half full, which is decent, I guess. Toughness, over half. Speed, half. Stamina, half. Luck, max. Oh. My attributes are maxed out. Is this the problem? This might be a problem. Oh, well, then it's a good thing that I've got the cook, because I can't level up anymore, apparently. Oh, interesting. Maybe if I get another class... Oh, boy, I just changed the class. Is this the actual max for the server? Or is it like maybe it relies on my reputation? Oh, I don't know. I need to investigate this. Because I don't understand why is it maxed out. Uh, but for the most uh, part... I don't even know what I was trying to say with the sentence. Uh, 
I, I think I've done all I wanted to do with this episode right now. Oh, I can sit in the water. Hold on, this is cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Taking a bath in my jacuzzi. I'm so rich, I even have a jacuzzi in the medieval kingdom. Okay. I will see you in the next uh, episodes of X Kingdoms, I guess. I hope there's gonna be one, because right now, the only thing I can think of doing that's fun on the server uh, at this stage, because we're so rich, is invading other people, which is a kind of an asshole thing to do, but maybe we can organize a war or something. We'll see. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I will see you on the server. Bye-bye, Fallout.